everyone. We have uh, Pete Jenkins here with us, um, who is a chairman of the GAMFED, the International Gamification Federation, as well as experienced gamifier. Uh, how are you? I'm very good. <laughs> I've prepared a few questions uh, for Pete to answer because, uh, well, you are an, e an expert and we have some viewers who are, you know, um, asking those questions themselves. So are you ready to kick it off? Uh, let's go for it. Okay. So m many of our listeners or viewers are um, HR professionals who are thinking of introducing gamified learning solution into their organization. And I don't know, let's assume they are a large organization. What are the questions they should uh, ask themselves? What are the key um, points to consider? I think the first place to start with that is whether what areas of the learning and development aren't working. Mm -hmm. right? Why are they looking at gamification? Okay. Yeah, um, because you're all doing something already. Mm -hmm. so, and I, to be honest, quite often I find in a larger company there's already some elements of gamification going on, particularly in the induction process. Mm -hmm. There might be games people play to meet the right people, and board games okay. to, to find out about the culture, things mm -hmm. like that. And quite often I think the first thing to do is to look at what's working and see whether that can be expanded out. Also, they tend to be, people working on that tend to be a bit more experienced in the game aspects uh -huh. and uh, would like the chance to expand what they can do. So take advantage of the resource you've got already. Oh, okay. So look yeah. around first and yeah. then find out what you have and, and then improve on that. Okay. Improve on that. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's always good in a large company to be able to prove the success of some gamification before you go yeah. for another yeah. project. So Especially for the board, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> they, they, yeah. they want some proof. They okay, um, so that, that was perhaps uh, in a larger organizations where you can actually not realize that you have something already. But you've also, on the other end of spectrum, coined the term uh, small gamification. What's that? So small gamification to me is it's actually it's a good place to start for most companies mm -hmm. as well, which is uh, the idea of having, using a bit of gamification to have a big impact on a small area of the business. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a number of reasons for that, but one is I think there's often some quick wins okay. where you can have a big impact through mm -hmm. just thinking about some minor part of a process. Uh, and seeing what you can do with it. For instance, uh, yeah. oh, we got something. For, for instance, we gamify. Just thought about how do we gamify our business cards to make them more effective? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, and I'll leave you one so you can do a close-up. Uh -huh. Yeah. But on the back, we uh -huh. came up with a series of challenges. Yeah. There we go. That are aimed at making the business card more effective. Sure. Yeah. And uh -huh. we were basically thinking, what are the things we we want people to do when we give them a business card? Mm -hmm. How can we gamify that? And one of the things this does is, for me anyway, is to prove to people that gamification doesn't actually have to look like a game. It's about mm -hmm. the learnings from games. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of uh, nice challenges one. of different levels on there. In fact, these are all aimed at different player types of mm -hmm. the um, of Andrzej, your Polish uh, emigre, uh -huh. Andrzej Malczewski, oh. <laughs> uh, his player type Hexad. And in fact, there's six player types in his mm -hmm. hexad, and these are aimed at five of the player types. Because actually, I don't want one the other... card aiming at five yeah. different types of players. That's 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 the beauty of it. Yeah. And, the, and the other one, I don't want as customers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, so for instance, one of the player types is disruptors mm -hmm. or innovators, uh -huh. and so there's a, a line there, a blank line for them to fill it in themselves yeah, to decide okay. what the challenge they want to do is. So, so playing yeah. outside the rules. Yeah. Within the game, if and there's context, a, a yeah. nice. Um, it's a nice example of how it doesn't have to be digital either, mm -hmm. again, yeah. I love it, yeah, we, 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 we do the offline gamification as well, and that's actually, that's the origins, mm -hmm. and that they help us uh, think of new ideas, yeah, so it doesn't have to be online. It yeah. doesn't have to be online, yeah. and it doesn't actually have to look like a game, it's about yeah. learning from games. So that's really useful Beautiful. when you're going to a CEO or something, because okay, they, they so think it's going to look like a game, and it doesn't, it shouldn't, it's about learning from games. Yeah. Yeah. And see so what they do well. I actually uh, completed the first two challenges. So meet <laughs> Pete in person and connect with Pete on, on, on social yeah. media. So great. I'm um, yeah. happy. Um, so uh, back to questions. Um, oh, yeah. so, so small gamification is yeah. about going through a gamification oh. design process mm -hmm. on a particular aspect that you, of your business or life mm -hmm. that you want to get mm -hmm. to have more impact with. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the good examples of that online was mm -hmm. LinkedIn years ago had their profile feedback bar. Yeah. Yeah. So one small area of the website, but had a 20% increase on impact on how complete people's profiles were. Funny story. That's my favorite example. I, yeah. I, uh, on, in every speech, I, I, I give the example of, of uh, LinkedIn being a gamified platform, but without a story, without the yeah. world. 
but so it's a business context, but it's yeah. gamified. But yeah. they've actually decreased the, the amount. They are, the no, they haven't. But what they've done is they've split it out into different areas. Oh, so okay. there's, there's like mini quests. You'll see things like, yeah. uh, join this group to increase your reach by 2%. Yeah, I, I love it. Like I love it. Yeah. And you've got a, an example of small gamification, in my opinion, here in in Warsaw, which mm -hmm. is the Chopin benches, yeah, dotted yeah, it's around the city, famous, yeah. yeah, so on. I went and sat on one yesterday and had a, oh. had a play, just so yeah. I could. Chopin is a good ambassador of Poland. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so um, the third question is a, is a tough one because uh, we are in a conference for e-learning professionals, yeah. and some of them are some of them are, are thinking, okay, so is this new trend, the gamification, killing? e-learning, something we already know and are paid to introduce and manage. So what's your opinion? Oh, I see, I have a quite an extreme opinion on this one. Okay, which bring is, it up. Um, and it's a, to be honest, that's the basis of my talk later here <laughs> okay. as well, is to upset some people. Uh, in my opinion, people are gamifying the e-learning. Mm -hmm. yeah, and in some cases, they're doing it really well. Mm -hmm. In some cases, they're not. They're just adding points and badges yeah. and not necessarily all that well. Mm -hmm. But there's deeper layer to it. But for me, it's actually gamification of learning. Mm -hmm. There are better ways to go about it, and it's worth thinking about. So for instance, I'm really into trying to get the gamification, or use gamification to help people learn better on the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Why take them out into the e-learning yeah. space when on you can actually, job. Okay. actually change something about their platform, how they interact with the work mm -hmm. and the process, so that they actually learn better from it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, well, that, that, Changing something about their uh, tools, the, the internet-based or computer-based tools, is difficult because that's the scary word of integration, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> so... Yeah, so, so it's not necessarily an easy, easy place to do it. And I think the reason that gamification has taken off in e-learning is yeah. because that is an easy place to do yeah. it. And the, the simplest way to do some gamification in e-learning is mm -hmm. to gamify getting people to complete yeah. all the elements of the e-learning. Yeah, so turn it into a story, help people get there, yeah. get to the yeah. end. Yeah. Okay. So there are ways to do that well. Mm -hmm. But I also think that Maybe the resources could be better spent mm -hmm. doing some work on the actual software that people are using every day, yeah. how they're learning from each other, mm -hmm. using games to help the culture change go mm -hmm. through, yeah. whatever it is you or want to Or a combination achieve. of it, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. there'll always be a place for some e-learning in yeah. there. Yeah. So. Okay, so the, the, the death of e-learning is, is not here yet. It's not, no, no, <laughs> definitely not. But uh, gamification is not only limited to e-learning. That, that's your, your take, okay. Um, so, um, Another question, another another area is the gamification of sales force. Okay, so yeah. probably the, one of the first areas uh, in the business context, because in the in the pro bono context uh, there is plenty of beautiful gamif gamified uh, cases, but in the in the business the salespeople tend to be those who gamify first, and uh, several of those uh, implementations failed miserably, to be honest. What's your opinion? What's your advice? I think it's a well? really interesting question. I got into gamification really through the sales and marketing side mm -hmm. and CRM systems and motivating salespeople. Oh, okay. okay, so that's, that's my background into yeah, it. Okay. And I think one of the main issues with sales forces is they already think they know gamification. Mm -hmm. They know competitions and sales competitions. And that means that it's really difficult to get them to do something different because mm -hmm. they already think they know what yeah. they need to be doing. They're also and it's not the same in every company, but generally they're already pretty competitive. Yeah. And so they don't necessarily want to work together. And often the best gamification is about getting people to collaborate, do things better exactly. together. Exactly, together. Um, mm -hmm. a, lot the, yeah. a lot of the stuff I try and work on in gamifying CRMs is about rewarding every element of a sales team because mm -hmm. you've got the lead generators as well as the closers. And generally sales work better when you have one of each. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you know, some pre-sales support and everyone around that thing. How do you make them all benefit from a, a, sales be, a sale mm -hmm. being closed and yeah. feel part of that team? And learn from each other and the good quotes and things when they don't want to share with yeah. each other. Yeah. And I think that's why it goes wrong. It's because generally the people who've been recruited into sales are individualists who are quite competitive, mm -hmm. who aren't really good at sharing. And yeah. the best gamification is about getting people to do stuff together in teams. Yeah, changing the behavior, yeah. not uh, in enforcing the behavior that already is presented, yeah? So, yeah, yeah. so they're already competitive, so don't, uh, don't also, add. Also, they like, to, they like to be rewarded with money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And also gamification is about saving money for the company. Yeah. So we, we try and give them other rewards, like some status and recognition. They're like, no, just give me the money. Yeah, well, actually, I haven't prepared that question, but uh, that's another uh, important point. Awards in gamification because I mean many many of, of, of companies that I uh, work with or talk to, they think that's a necessary point that uh, they have 
they have to have a budget for awards yeah. in a gamified uh, solution, which isn't the case, is it? <laughs> it's not. In fact, to be honest, I quite often go in and do a, a special piece of work around what will motivate the staff. Mm -hmm. yeah? And yes, the first thing they always ask for is more money. But as soon as you say, assume that's not available, mm -hmm. yeah, what else? Just, yeah. And actually, you get people asking things like uh, what I call power-ups, so ways yeah. to make the office work better or their mm -hmm. systems work better. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, better but, chair, perhaps. Better chair, yeah. a wider chair, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, better chairs, uh, more reliable Wi-Fi. You get all sorts of things come out of that. Mm. And you think, actually, the company should invest in those anyway. Yeah. Uh, but quite often, they'll actually come up with team-based rewards. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we want to go out on team days, we want this, we want That's that. Nice. We want to actually, maybe as a reward, we can go and spend a day working for a charity. And you just look there at the time. And yeah. in the UK, the most requested one of all is extra time off. Yeah, and it's different in different parts of the world, I found, as well. So in the Far East at the moment, it's mm -hmm. still very money-based, money mm -hmm. and the rewards should be about maybe gambling the money to make even more money. Okay. Yeah, it does depend on the culture, yeah, but yeah. some work we did in Vietnam was definitely around that way. We are a nation of workaholics, so perhaps the time off would be, would be, would be good, good for us, yeah. And the for the company. Yeah. Yeah. And in America, um, my impression of it so far is, is to give people a, a prize such as an experience, you know, maybe skydiving mm -hmm. or doing something like that, and the time off to take it. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. sort of double That's prize. a good combination, yeah. yeah. Because they're not, they're not very famous for taking time off work. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Okay, now, Paul, the last question is about the GAMFED, or the, the federation uh, that you founded. Uh, and, uh, well, I can start you I didn't actually found it. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> for me, you're the face other, of Game yeah. GAMFED. Yeah. I've been chair now for three years, I think. Okay. Uh, but. It was already founded by various people, mostly in Europe, but also mm -hmm. one in the States as mm -hmm. well. It's uh, the only truly international gamification body. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what, when I got into gamification, I went looking for something like that yeah. to join. And uh, I, it happened to be like a week before the AGM, something like that. So I very quickly I found myself volunteered for a role as treasurer, mm -hmm. um, which no one ever wants to fill. Mm -hmm. It's actually a really simple role in a membership organization, so that's fine. And three years later, I was looking for around for the International Federation, found you, yeah. and uh, volunteered for the role of ambassador in Poland. So that's yes. what we are doing here. Yeah, spreading, uh, and basically the point of GAMFED is to spread the word, spread, yeah. the, spread the word, but also spread best practices. Mm -hmm. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people out there. There's over 300,000 people have taken the Coursera course online for free about yeah. gamification. Yeah, and at any one time, there's about 15, 10 to 15,000 people taking it live. So Amazing. it's a massively growing industry, but everyone's thinking about doing things differently. Mm -hmm. They're all coming at it from different aspects. Mm -hmm. And until recently, there wasn't much academic um, research, research yeah. around it. I noticed last year there was about 7,000 gamification papers from Amazing. academics, so it's yeah. growing really quickly. Okay. But our point at GAMFED is to spread what works and what doesn't, okay. so that as many people as possible can benefit from it. Sure, and we'll yeah. do that in Poland, uh, for sure. That's because, what we want to yeah, do. Yeah, the research is, is uh, another. The results, the, that's for the board, and the research is for the HR professionals who really want yeah. to do things that make sense, rather than just uh, follow a fad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and gamification does make sense. So. It does. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the, and the sort of benefits to joining it, obviously, mm -hmm. is access to that sort of information, but also we have uh, interesting discussions about how to do things better. Okay. So, last month in our GAMFED's Facebook group, we had a really great discussion around uh, the different ideation techniques mm -hmm. we, all the people who are doing gamification use to mm -hmm. come up with their, because you've got to be original quite often with gamification because yeah. you need people's attention. Yeah. How do we go about that? And there's a nice write-up we've just added to the blog about mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. as well. Okay, about so there's there. a Gumford blog, there is a Gumford fan, uh, fan page on, on Facebook, obviously. Uh, so what does one do to join? Well, I'm simply, an HR professional and I want to join. Simply what, what goes to gamfed.com okay. and clicks join and pays uh, depending whether you're joining as an individual or a company, yeah. okay, yeah. click the button and join, and then we'll try and reach out and get mm -hmm. you involved in stuff. Okay, yeah, like you might end up as an ambassador, maybe not in Poland because we have one <laughs> at the moment, but okay. you could certainly probably do with some help. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we could do with some help and some cooperation because I mean, educating the market is, is the most important thing at the mm -hmm. moment, educating everyone each and every one, so we can create good solutions, good cases, so yeah. gamification has a good name rather than poor solutions with points, leaderboards and yeah. budgets. You're, you're <laughs> right about educating the market as well, because lots of people have different impressions of what gamification is. Yeah. Is it a serious game, a simulation, is it a, is it a game? Yeah. And, and, it's, um, it's a game class. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, okay. or it might not even look like a game. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to having you. And uh, hopefully we'll talk soon 
sometimes. Yeah, well, let us know mm -hmm. what's happening in the Polish mm -hmm. market when it comes yeah. to gamification. Or we can discuss a case online via Skype or chat. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers.